two. Five for the top, get to the top and stay on top. Close guard. The concepts are what? What's good for him is bad for me. What's good for him and what he needs to pass my closed guard because my legs are closed and this is open, this is closed. It's as simple and complicated as that. For him, posture is good. For me, his posture is bad. For me, broken posture on him is good. For him, it's bad. So think about it. I gotta take what's good, okay, for him, turn it in to bad for him, okay? Whatever goes to bad for him immediately turns good for me. This is good for me. He postures up. Now he went and took his bad, turned it into good. His good turned into bad, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up his posture here and I wanna get some kind of controls here, okay? Because I wanna keep his posture down. He's probably gonna be fighting to regain posture, 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 posture. And you see the arms begin to get exposed here, okay? I can begin to switch my grips here. I can begin to open up my guard here and begin to set up certain sweeps using his desire to regain what's good for him, which is posture. So we're gonna do something that never really worked for me in the beginning because everybody was learning it until later on when I started doing it right, which is a basic scissor sweep, okay? I break his posture, posture, he starts posturing up right here. I'm breaking his posture, constantly moving here, moving my hips out, okay? And getting them out, still retaining my cross collar grip right here, okay? For those of you who are just starting, you're just gonna do this. You're gonna break their posture with two hands across this collar here because this collar is a strap on the neck. It's very similar to kind of like a Muay Thai clinch also, and your legs and knees pull their posture down. As I pull him down, he wants to posture up. He might call it here, and I pull him down again. As he wants to posture up here, grab his elbow, and with both hands I push so my feet can scoop my hips out. Knee comes right in under my wrist, and I pull him literally like I'm trying to break and hold a staff right here. Push it into his shoulder here. This foot chops, I pull him up, and I get to the mount. Okay. Now, preferably from here, I wouldn't stay because I don't care for mount, but when you do, I prefer you slide your knees up so you get a more of a high mount, so you can begin to attack arms here and begin to set up various submissions from a higher mount. But for now, you gotta think to yourself how to get to the top. Very, very effective, because this sweep works off of momentum. Your momentum stops, very hard to restart. I keep it pulling, he postures up. I pull, push, pull, and get on top, okay? From here, I have a good submission here. Okay. On the basic style, but if you notice, everything was on interrupted move. For those of you who are just beginning, gonna break their posture down, move them to your right. Your right hand pulls in the collar. Both hands, like a rope, you're gonna pull. He's gonna to wanna to push back up. I'm gonna redirect it to the left, and my left hand grabs their elbow. From here, I push, and then my foot, and my hip out, and bring my knee in here. This is a frame, because if he wanted to slap me in the head, go ahead, drive your weight in, okay? I need to be able to make sure that my left shoulder absorbs all the way. I cannot let my knee collapse. I lose all power. Because the more he drives into me, the lighter he becomes on his knees and the easier he is to sweep. So from here, go in. Yeah. And I still have this collar, okay? So you're going to get your right hand in the collar. Those of you who are a little bit more advanced, I pull him down, he pushes up here. Okay, from here, and the hand's still in the collar. It didn't slip, it didn't do anything. I wanna keep this hand on the collar, because if anything, I can begin to put him into an S9. Okay, I'm gonna come from this side. Basic scissor sweep, but you'll never see taught like this. Because this is what works. <coughs> and down here, he postures back up. 
Okay, and notice how my hips are in. And from here, I keep driving across here. See how he even wants to roll to the side because of the neck pressure. From here, it makes it easy for me to get to the S mount matrix. And from here, I have chokes. If I can feed his collar, this one's stuck a little bit here. Under, you have the choke over the next here. We have arm hooks here and a lot of stuff. But first, let's do that basic scissor trick. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Real basic. 